and welcome to Entertainment Extra with Joe Crawford on RemixTV.com. Now, we are in a new month. We are in April, and we're looking for another winner to win $500. All you have to do is sign up to RemixTV.com, invite your friends, make sure they sign up too because that counts as a ballot for your entry to win $500. And we will have a winner later on this week to see who won for the month of March. Now, where the contest is all over though, $10,000 can be yours in the last month. And we will let you know when that happens. Today is Monday, April the 2nd. It's National Autism Awareness Day. So please be aware of it. It's been kind of under the blankets for a while, but in the past few years, it's been coming out more and more. And I also want to thank Dave McMahon. I was on his radio show on April Fool's Day on All About Dogs on 105.1 at FM. And it should be on their website uh, promoting the show Entertainment Extra. And also, uh, it's an All About Dogs show. I don't own a dog, and I don't know anything about dogs. So the only reason why I think he had me on April Fool's Day is because, well, the fool part anyways. <laughs> now, no fooling around here on Remick TV. Our guest for this show is a gentleman who has been under the influence of an uh, artist over his years of life, and he's decided to come on out and sing songs of this gentleman, Johnny Cash. And the man we have as a Johnny Cash tribute artist is Leo Doyle. Welcome to the show, Leo. How are you? Not bad, Joe. How you, how you been? I'm doing been good. Now, I got my cowboy hat. Oh, my, there you go. My head is bigger than the hat. I'll squeeze it but, in. But, yeah, we'll get her in there. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to wear Does Johnny Cash even wear a cowboy hat? He wore a Stetson once in a while for pictures, I think. Oh, just okay. for promo. He walked out on stage that I know one time and hung it up. That's about it. Yeah, okay. So, I, I, I thought, well, maybe you'd have one, too. But I wasn't too sure. But I got mine on just to be in a little <laughs> cowboy Spirit here of Johnny Cash. Now, Johnny Cash has been an influence on your life because you uh, do yeah, sing songs of uh, him. Now, most what, definitely. Uh, what, what is it about Johnny Cash that uh, has uh, brought your interest? I think he intrigued me when I was young. Like When I was eight years old, I remember having an album my father got from uh, somewhere, and I put on the record player. I remember being by myself, and I started listening to it. For some reason, I kept listening to it over and over and over. And that was... Uh, Folsom Prison Blues uh, Live that Johnny Cash did on January 13th, 1968. Okay. And I just, I got in this thing and I started play acting and I was walking up to the mic saying, hello, I'm under the influence. My name's Johnny Cash. And all kinds of stuff. And just started play acting with it and we were, and it just came through my life. Then I learned Boy Named Sue. I had to be 10, 11 years old. Right. I had that song down. And my, my uncle had a band, my, my brother-in-law had a band and they come out to the farm once in a while. I grew up in Wainfleet. And um, come on up here and sing, and I'd, I'd be up there, you know, my daddy left home when I was three. And <laughs> it became, became a thing, and I just started, and my whole life's been, my friends, through rock and roll, through anything we ever had was, I was just a Johnny Cash guy. Every birthday, what do you want, what, what are you going to get me? Give me something of Johnny Cash, or get an album of Johnny Cash, or I, put, I got a collection of Johnny Cash. Nice. Which I love. Nice. You know? That's great. Now, um, you're all dressed in black yeah. for uh, the show here. And the reason being is because Johnny Cash was known as the man, man in black. In black. Uh, why Why did he choose black? Is, I, I, probably well, more because it's slimming. Well, I guess, you know what? <laughs> I, he never really chose the black or chose the black. It was the, um, when they first started out, they really had nothing. Right. And they wanted to make a little impression. So everybody had a black shirt. So they all dressed in black. And if, if you watch, ever watch Walk the Line, it showed uh, that part, and she said, "Why are you all dressed up? Like, look, you look like you're going to a funeral." And he <laughs> says that says to his wife at the time, Vivian, yeah. his first wife, "Well, maybe I am." And they, <laughs> they get, and they did. They went in there and they recorded Folsom Prison Blues, "Cry, Cry, Cry," and it was on the radio within in weeks. Wow. Back then, that that's the way it was, I guess. Yeah. So. Nice. Now, um, talking about not going to any funerals, but you are the life of the party with uh, performing your uh, with the band. That's actually called Under the Influence, that's right? That's right, yes. And uh, they're not with us today, but hopefully we'll get them back in the studio, yeah. and we'll get a bigger studio, we'll and we'll have you guys perform. Yeah, that'd be great. And uh, you, I just want to show here, it's a, a, a picture here, uh, Under the Influence of Johnny Cash, Leo Doyle, mm -hmm. and you do have a CD that's out, 
And uh, we were talking a little bit off air, and it's very interesting because uh, you said that there's even mistakes yeah. on the CD. Like, why would you? We, most artists don't even want to put mistakes on this. Why would no. you put mistakes on the CD? The, the thing about with Johnny Cash, if, if you listen to a lot of his songs, even the studio stuff, he had, he had this timing thing. Yeah. And he came in on different places all over. And he made mistakes on stage. And he's, he's a regular man, I guess. That's probably what intrigues me the most or, or gets me into that. Cause he's just a guy. Yeah. You know, became a famous man, but never forgot where he came from. Like, he was here. I heard stories. I met a man. I was doing a show up in, by Dumbbell Way. And these guys uh, were down by Dumbbell. He came through Highway 3 when he played up in London. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came through. And uh, they stopped. At a, they had a rest drop. Uh, the bus got out. This man comes out, this great big guy, you know, six foot two, and it was Johnny Cash. He sat there and talked to a group of men and people just like they were oh, wow. their friends. And these guys never forgot that. Right. And he's talk he talks on his uh, CDs or on his on his live stuff and he, and he just goes through some stuff and you can hear the you can hear the difference in the guitars or, or, or anything. So when I had this, I had a chance to get it all fixed up and touched up and I said, No, let's I just let's do it raw. Let's just do this thing. The way I sang it, and I got a big mistake on this, <laughs> and it was big. It was, and, and I just talked about because the one in Johnny Cash got kicked off of the uh, the Ryman uh, studio when he kicked the footlights out. Right. And that was a song. I got striped. Uh, okay. So it, I don't know how it came about. I didn't. It wasn't planned. I just messed it up. <laughs> and how 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 perfect for that. Yeah. It, yeah. He didn't know the words of the song. He walks off stage and kicks out, gets kicked out of the Grand Ole Opry, you know? <laughs> and you, probably Johnny Cash was in the studio with you not knowing, and maybe that's what happened. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a tribute to Johnny Cash, a live performance by Leo Doyle and uh, with Under the Influence. We have a little video that I want to show here, and uh, Leo wants to show. So you can get an idea of what Johnny Cash sounds like through Leo Doyle. And uh, also what Under the Influence. Now, Under the Influence, before I get to the video, they play the Johnny Cash music with you. And also they also play uh, songs from Buddy Holly, That's right. Elvis Presley. Um, who else? We got some Chuck Berry in there. Chuck uh, Berry. So Nelson, the Everly Brothers. The, it? the Beatles. So 50s right. and 60s yeah. music, more or less. Because so, you got to have a break, too. You can't do a full three-hour, four-hour show. So... They play in between as well. Yeah, that's the format we started for this year. It, it's a great format. It, it's a little different. Yeah. So we got the fifties and sixties plus the tribute. Nice. So we got a lot of dance music, and then I can come out and tell my stories. You can sit down and have a rest. Yes. Just listen to me for a while. Beautiful. You back up and have your fun. You know. You guys are like you pretty much go all across Ontario. You've been up uh, past the Toronto way. You've worked with other artists of uh, of Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley yes. artists like. You're really all into it, and I'm pretty excited because on Aug or um, not August, April 21st, yeah. um, you were ever so kind to ask to have me uh, join you. I I do impersonations as well on my shows and whatever. The Dolly Parton the, and uh, is not sung but danced upon, and also uh, the Elvis Presley and Tina Turner that I do. But tell me a little bit about what's going on on Saturday, April 21st, along with uh, you. Under the Influence is going to be there? That's right. And myself. Well, we're starting their Median uh, Hall. Uh, it's on 156 Martindale in St. Catharines. It's going to be the format of the 50s and 60s with dance music and a tribute to Johnny Cash. These guys, we just met up these guys that own, they uh, run that Armenian club. Okay. And um, they're going to start out some tribute shows there and they want to get into it. So we started, we're going to do that with this new show. And kick, kind of, it's almost like a kickoff show because we just did one with, with this whole new format. Right, mixing right. Mixing it all together. So now we're going to go over here to, uh, to the hall yep. and get our show, get it, get it out there to the public. The, the difference, the change. Yes. And I hope, hopefully, I think it's going to go well. Yes. So we're, we're getting into it and we're having a lot of fun. We're doing a lot of practicing. Yeah. And, uh, it, you know, any mistakes, it, it, it's, I would look up, thank you, Johnny, you know. <laughs> now, uh, St. Catharines is the first stop, and then uh, right. where else in Ontario that we have anything planned yet? Or uh, I got a lot of different things yeah. going on, and some of them uh, veer off with that band into another place, because sometimes there's just so many bookings with, uh, we get bookings with the Elvis, like you said earlier, the Elvis guys. Yeah. I'm playing with this, this great guy, Jeff Mitchell, uh, a couple weeks for the 50th anniversary in Hagersville for their, their car show. Yeah. And so I'll be with him that night. Nice. And then we're going to be rolling around back to St. Catharines with you on the 21st there. That's going to be great. And yep. we just 
It just keeps going and going. Beautiful. Uh, May, we're here in Mississauga, by the way, May 5th. Oh, at nice. The, at the Moose Lodge. Oh, it's gonna okay. It's going to be Buddy Holly, Johnny Cash, and Elvis Presley. Okay, so, it's be a good so night May 5th at the Moose Lodge. Yeah, right on Lakeshore Boulevard. Beautiful. How can, because uh, we're right in Mississauga, we'll plug that one. How can people uh, get tickets for that one? Well, you know what? This is going to be a free show here. Come on. Yeah, this guy, Trail, that, uh, that he has the entertainment there at the, at the hall. Yeah. They, he pulls in a big crowd, and we have a great time there. And you know what? A lot of people go there and have a lot of fun, and yep. we just feed off everybody, and big, big dance. Every couple months we're up. We've been, so far, he's been booking us every two months in that uh, hall. Beautiful. All right. It's a nice so, hall. Um, now, I know with you being the Johnny Cash uh, expert, and uh, you love I, I, I We've been friends. We're the same town that we live in, and I've uh, been following you. Uh, you are the Johnny Cash uh, collector, your wife Doreen is the Elvis Presley That's collector. Right. Do you have one room for yourself as Johnny Cash, and your wife Doreen has the other room for well, Elvis? Or oh, that's, yeah, okay, let's have it this way. My wife has a room for Elvis. Right. We have a big room for Elvis, all on the walls. We're starting to put it on the floor, but we're gonna run out of space to walk. So we're, <laughs> I got one. I got one room, and I have a pit, one picture of Johnny Cash and a poster. <laughs> So she That's definitely got you outnumbered. So far. She's been collecting since she was four years old. Oh, and she's, okay. she's actually the one that got me into this. Nice. So she's going to the tribute shows, and she come on out, come on out to a show. And I said, ah, no, I really don't want to go to it. Then I got to it, and I started seeing the Elvis guys, and seeing how they perform, see how they bring back the memory. Yeah. And, that, that, and I said to Doreen, you know, I've been singing a long time before that. I'm going to try that Johnny Cash right. uh, tribute. So I went, and I already knew most of the songs. Yeah. Just, just like putting them down and actually perform them. Yeah. Well, singing is one thing, then trying to perform the show to, to, to somebody is a different thing altogether. Exactly, you know yeah. And uh, Dream was there. She made all the phone calls. We got a show with a r real good friend, our first show, John Sagan. He did uh, the Elvis. Yeah. And um, he brought down his equipment. I had nothing. All I had was <laughs> my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> so she did it. She set it all up and went to that little little uh, Canadian core. We did our first show there. We sold it out, and we've been going... Three years now, pretty awesome. steady. Beautiful. Now, and, and it's been getting busier and busier every year. Like, you're just uh, yeah, on the go a lot. Now, um, oh, okay. So we're speaking with Leo Doyle here, the tribute artist of Johnny Cash. Now, when you started out, and I, and I, I already know what the answer is going to be, but for our listeners out there, um, you started out with having tracks. Right. And uh, saying the tracks of Johnny Cash. Now, now getting bigger and better, um, you're having live bands. Now, Under the Influence is behind you. You've gone with a couple other bands live. Yeah. Um, a big difference? A lot better? What, like? Big, big difference. Uh, the, uh, the band's forgiving. You mess up, you go talk, you just run around again, the same <laughs> tune. The tracks say, you know what, forget it, buddy. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> you know what it's like. You can't, uh, you can't mess up with the tracks. Right. They don't let you off. Yeah, yeah. So, so you got to hit those songs all the time. We still play with tracks, and we play a lot of places because a lot of people can't afford to have or even come out to a lot of shows. So right. we, we, do a lot of, we do a lot of benefits and a lot of some fundraisers. And the track shows are there, and, and they're great. People can only afford so much, and, and we, we do it. Nice. Now, yeah. where can people uh, find you, connect with you? I know we said Facebook uh, to get shows to uh, figure out where you are, like we said, May 5th at the Moose Lodge yep. in Mississauga, April 21st. Uh, we're in St. Catharines at the, um, what is it we're at? Uh, I should know because I'm there the, with you. The Shiraz Ballroom at the remaining uh, uh, community center. Okay, yeah, so Shiraz yeah. Ballroom. So um, where can people uh, get in contact with? Well, I guess the best, the best avenue I have. I kind of let my website go like we all do. Yes. It's really hard to keep up a website, but Facebook's there. So okay. All you got to do is go see, look, search Leo Doyle and the Johnny Cash. I'll be there. Just click on, and, I'll, and I can add you as a friend, but the page is open. We have a page now. Yeah, okay. And the shows, we're posting the shows, hope, just like on a monthly basis, and still on my Facebook, and other friends post. Yeah. So once you get into mine, you know what it's like. Anybody that's on Facebook today knows which I don't go on too much. So <laughs> on. It's you you, you need it's to have an hard. assistant to help you do it. It's hard. And, and, and it takes a lot of time. Like I, right. do, I do Twitter. I do Facebook. I do um, uh, the website and everything else. And the social, it takes up a lot of time. Yeah. So. Time I get home from work, you know, I work at the Pork Home and Drop Forge. Yeah. I switch with another friend. He's, he's fortunate enough that he switches with me, so I stay on a steady shift, 2 to 10. Yeah. 
so I can get things done in the morning, get things done at night, and I'm up for three or four every weekend. There you so go. I just keep my time rolling. <laughs> so Facebook is the is a thing for me right now. That's okay. what we have, and it's, it's the most open, easiest thing to access. Just go with my name, Leo Doyle. Yeah, and, and that's on my Facebook. And we and have it on the bottom of the screen there. You can see L E O D O Y L E. So search that on Facebook yeah. after the interview here. And uh, Leo, for April twenty first, uh, I know people are dying to not only they want to see. Uh, myself, but they want to see you as Johnny Cash. Where can they get tickets? How can they buy tickets? How can they come to the show? The best way right now on that show, we got it advertised all over in the poster, but if you just call, we have a number to call. Okay. And it's 905-834-0000. It's a nice, easy number. There you go. It's easy to remember. Nice. Don't ask me how I got the number because I can't. <laughs> I can't get anybody in trouble. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, how much are uh, tickets? They're only twenty dollars that night. Okay. And it's a full night of entertainment. Uh, well, we ha um, and these are. I want to mention the guys. I know they're yeah. not here. They're going to be at the event. Yeah. Uh, Jason Beauregard, yeah. Tim Murray, Brad Bolton, Bill Payne, and of course yourself, Leo Doyle, and uh, Tim Murray, who is the lead vocals for the '50s and '60s, who does Elvis, Buddy Holly. And uh, Beatles and so oh, much and, more. And lot, so much. It's the two top hits of uh, the 50s and 60s. So we got them condensed down. So that we, most of us, for the clientele that we have at that age group, that yeah. bracket, they know, they remember all those songs. Yeah. So it's all top, top hits. So we get everybody on the dance floor, you know. Beautiful. So hopefully the grandkids are getting their grandparents to listen to us to yes. get out there because, uh, oh, you know what? Though some of the some of the seniors, well, they're pretty good with the computers. Uh, but anyways, uh, Leo, I want to appreciate you coming here on the show, talking about uh, you coming on with April 21st and May 5th at uh, Mississauga, which is a free show. That's right. So right no here. excuse to, not to come out to that one there at the Moose Lodge. And um, yeah, we, uh, we have your CD here, and I, I guess you can buy them at the shows as well, correct? Yeah, we only charge what we put into it. Yeah, so. $10, that's it. We that's don't a, even. That's a bargain. Yeah, we do our best to keep it down. It's not about selling it. I mean, I don't want to make any money off it. Right. With you, we got some pictures with the sign, some T-shirts. We, we just sell them for what we make, and the show is just the show. You want to go full time with this? Oh man, that'd be a dream. Right. You know, and we're working. We're doing well. Yeah. In three years now. I started. I just started. By the way, this is my third year. Uh, April fourth, our first show. We nice. did it in two thousand nine. Okay. And we've been on the go ever since. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it just keeps on chucking right yeah, through here. That's right. And I'm glad you stopped your truck here at Remick TV with Entertainment Extra with Joe Crawford. Leo Doyle, check him out on Facebook and under the influence of Johnny Cash. Hopefully we'll see you on Saturday, April 21st, or Leo will see you in Mississauga on May 5th. Leo, thank you hey, very much. Thanks a lot for having hey, me. Hey, no Appreciate problem. It. I want you guys to come back with a full band when we, we got will. the bigger studio, we definitely okay? Will. I definitely want you on.